I, I give up. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Swadi Car. My name is Rob and this, this is the biggest market in the whole of Thailand. And I think one of the biggest open air markets in the entire world. Chatterjack weekend market. Now, yes, I've done this before about nine months ago and I revisited about a few weeks ago and I went to the pet zone here, which I'd previously referenced. And I left, I went home and I deleted my previous video because of that reference. Um, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Actions speak louder than words. This is gonna be a positive video. This is gonna be a positive remake. Let's see what the market's like nine months after. It's looking pretty good, but let's go. And Chatter Track Park is one of the most easy to access as well. Not only do you have uh, two MRT stations, but one of them is Chatter Track Park MRT, and I'll put the name of the other one on the screen as well. But you've got the Mochit BTS, like literally right outside of each other. And then all you've basically got to do is walk 100 yards following the crowds uh, to get to the entrance of the market. So it's just really simple to get. And for reference, it's uh, a Sunday at the moment. It is coming up to 11 o'clock. When I first arrived here at nine, it, it was open, but it wasn't like fully open. So I would recommend coming around 10 o'clock if you can do, because it's like that point where everything's open, but not everyone sort of started to arrive. Uh, this 11 o'clock, people are starting to flood in, starting to get busy. And uh, well, it's probably a good time if you wanted to get breakfast, because on the outskirts of the market, you've got all of these, uh, these food stalls. So you can kind of grab yourself <laughs> grab yourself some food and then make your way into the market because it's pretty brutal in there pretty brutal so yeah make sure you drink plenty of water before you go in get yourself some food and then make your way into the market but this is definitely not your only food options there's way more food there's way more everything on the inside so yeah let's just get on with it and get inside and check the place out This is why we love Thailand. <laughs> what a legend. Getting around is, well, you should just walk. There's gonna be no rhyme or reason to the stuff that's going on in this video, so I apologize for that. Although they have like this really cool map with the, the soys sort of separated, and you know, you've got Thai instruments, teen clothing, art, bar stuff, artificial flowers, handbooks, like absolutely everything listed here. Trying to work out where you are and what's in each section, it's just a minefield. You're better off just coming in one of the entrances or exits, which there are, I think, 30 of them. So there's no, no good starting point. And just walk around, just explore and sort of see what you can find. And well, that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, yeah, let's just take a look around. Although um, the market is open air, it's, well, the vast, vast majority of it is all undercover. So even if it is raining, you know, if you're here in rainy season, then you can still come here and have a good time and not be sort of hindered by the weather. And for me, I'm not much of a haggler. I just, I like the price is the price, right? So like little shops like this, where they've got the price on absolutely everything. Absolutely, yeah, this is, this is how I like to shop. Just like this place, the guy makes the bags himself. So every single shop that I walk past is almost like a bespoke, unique item. Uh, you could leave here with something that no one's ever seen and take it back to your own country and you'll never see anyone else with the same kind of thing. I could probably film every single stall here, but I think there's over 8,000 stalls here and more and more are popping up every single week. Um, I could only show you so much, but yeah, it's just, you're constantly walking around, like checking each store because they're all so different from each other. This corner you can get coffee, a cactus, and some clothes. I guess they all start with a C. Is that organized? So I actually ended up walking to the second MRT station. Um, it's what I mean, like it's literally 
part of the market nearly. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you end up, where you start. Uh, I've got no clue whatsoever where I am uh, in regards to that map that I showed you earlier. It's just, it's, Chatter Track Market is one of them places where you literally shop till you drop because it's so hot, you either run out of money or you run out of exhaustion because you've been looking around for hours and hours on end. Uh, I'm only gonna be able to cover probably a snippet of this market. All right, all right, let's talk about my favorite thing, the food. Oh, there's loads of it. Let's check it out. I only just noticed, like, all along the back here, we've got uh, people sitting down, like, enjoying their meals and that. Uh, I don't remember that. Like, when I was here nine months ago, uh, all, all of that was empty. Um, so, I'm cooking here. It's changed, it's changed after nine months and I love it. I love to see things progress, things get busier, but like, it's just more excitement to it. It's not too busy actually. The time now is 12 o'clock um, and yeah, it's actually really good to walk around. Now is the perfect time uh, to come and visit this market. <laughs> and some of you guys have asked me before actually, uh, they do have like uh, halal offerings. If, you, if that's uh, your thing, they do have it here. Right, I'm getting hot, and that reminds me, uh, when you are hot and you've had enough and you just think, oh, I need a break, I need to just cool down, look for this giant building here. This is the shopping mall. This is Mixed, mixed M-I-X-T Chatty Chat. It's a shopping mall, goes parallel with the market, really good aircon, food court on level three. Yes, level three, food court, really good food. Get yourself a drink, cool down. There's actually another bunch of shops all inside as well. Let's, uh, let's go and check it out and cool off. There's also a bunch of sort of postal services dotted around. You've got Flash Express there. I think there's a JNT, a uh, DHL, and a few others sort of dotted around here and there. So if you wanted to just make a massive collection of stuff, they can get you a box as well, and then you can just ship it all home. Um, like I said, because all of this is like bespoke, unique stuff that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So, you know, you could always make the most of it. Um, yeah, uh, this, I don't agree with giant dogs in small cages. Uh, it doesn't make me happy. That nah, positive video, positive. Let's go and find out what else is there. <laughs> I I give up. <laughs> I give up with the animal thing. What can I do? Oh dear. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd rather be in here listening to that fine gentleman with the aircon and all this amazing food than uh, outside sweating, but that's just me. So I could have made this video really short, probably like 10 seconds, and just said that the only thing that you can't get here is electronics, because if you want to turn up here and get yourself a sofa, a dream catcher, a toilet seat, a squirrel, and I don't know, a tattoo, you can get all of those right here at the market. Oh, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll find it next to the, um, you know, the, the, the rock collection. And, uh, well, obviously the uh, life-size wooden horses. Obviously. <laughs> art scene here at Chattachak is just absolutely next level. Uh, I'm not an art person, but I can appreciate uh, displays like this. I was chatting to the lady in here, absolutely amazing. She's hand painted everything in there. We put all her details on the screen, give her a share, go and say hello, share the love that I know Project Bangkok sent you as well.
I hope you guys didn't mind the remake. Uh, it's actually changed after nine months. It's way better now than it previously was. It's definitely picked up, but it's not too busy. Now is an ideal time to come. It's a Sunday evening, about half two. I'm melting my face off in the sun, but it's still okay. It's not too bad. A lot of the little shops have actually got aircon now. So as you walk past, you get a nice waft of cold air and yeah, it kind of just resets you. Um, it's a good time down here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, let us know how you navigate your way round because I still have no clue whatsoever. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.